what's the deal family welcome back to the real distraction channel on youtube it's your boy sean and we here with another banger for y'all man so look we got the second match england versus wales extended highlights 2022 six and they shits okay we about to run this up man i just reacted to uh the scotland versus france game scotland disappointed me man um i expected a, i expected france to win but i expected a better more competitive match, man. That's all it was. Um, you guys let me know what you think about that one. But now we got the second match of the week in England versus Wales, okay? On this one, I got Wales, obviously, to win it. Um, even though England is higher up in the tournament. They got six points right now. Wales only has four points as of this match happening. Um, but I still got Wales, man, just because they won it. They won it in 2021. You guys have let me know they have they've won it the, a lot of times. They probably won it the most. Um, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna rock with them just off that energy right there, man. And I like how they played in that first week. So we are gonna run it up, see what they're talking about. Check this out. Um, I'm also gonna be doing Ireland versus Italy right after this. And check it that match out. Even though I think I know how that one's gonna run. Um, but that's it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe for more of these rugby match videos, and let me know how you feel about the two-week waiting period. Because between round two and three, we have to wait two weeks, bro. Right? And between round three and four, we have to wait another two weeks. But between round one and two, it was only a week. I'm assuming they're doing this because there's other events going on in the world or something like that. Probably other stuff. So they're making it work that type of way. But y'all let me know. Do you prefer the week wait? between rounds or do you prefer the two week wait between rounds i think two weeks is too long i like a week um it keeps everything fresh keeps everything moving you don't need two weeks pre to prepare for the next match you know what i'm saying like england doesn't need two weeks to go before they go face uh who they got next week ireland next week they don't need two weeks bro maybe because of injuries and fatigue maybe i could see it sliding like that but i prefer a week you guys let me know what you think um, do you prefer a week or two weeks? So, let's get to it. Two key figures. Manatula. He told you. Langy and Captain Courtney Laws. The good Laws. news is that Laws is indeed back after missing the trips to Edinburgh and Rome. They need Laws, the bro. News, though, is the loss of two they need Langy. that enforcer. He strained his problem hamstring on Thursday. So, after a hasty revision, Smith. Elliot Daly returns to the England back line I like wearing Smith. 13. As he did in the defeat in Edinburgh on the opening weekend. The headline story in Wales is the return of Tolupi Falatau out of all rugby for six months. He straight back. Eight, so back. a rejig in the back row. Sees Ross Moriarty shifting to the blind side. Tame Basham, he wears seven. Dan Beggar is fit and fine, so no problems with the knee niggle. He suffered against the end I like these cats. The that match. I like this 11 and 15 Adams at the 11 and then uh Williams at the 15 I like their little combo right here man against Scotland so there's also no Lewis Reece Samet he's been dropped Alex Cuthbert they dropped Zamet somebody give me a come on bro how you gonna drop Louis Reece Zamet bro was putting in so much work the first two weeks he put in so much work the first two weeks, bro. You can't do that. Even when y'all lost the second week, he was putting in work still. Josh Adams. Got to be injured. Wings and England's finishers. Will they include Joe Marchant, who joined up with the squad on Thursday? He got to be injured, bro. He's not playing at all. His injury. Wales bench includes Leon Brown and Kieran Hardy. So a decade and a day since Wales last won here in rugby's greatest championship. Will that painful sequence be brought to an end? Oh, will England send Wales oh, they the already, hey, okay. crown crashing to the Twickenham They already turf. capitalized on Wales field position. Able to handle the first kick of the match. England immediately into the... Damn, bro. England literally just put themselves in a W spot. It's 20 seconds in. You just kicked off to them and you, about to, you damn near about to score. <laughs> if that ain't the way you want to start a match, I don't know right now, bro. Yeah. That's the way to start. They trying to win, bro. How I see it is this. If you England, you damn near need this, bro. You, like, if it Wales, you obviously need it. But England, if you want to stay competitive with France, you need this win. Because you got to expect Ireland is going to beat Italy, right? You have to expect Ireland is going to beat Italy. And then if you're England, you, pay, you play Ireland next, next week or in two weeks from now. 
So you know that you you got you I England and Ireland both got six points as of this match. So you know Ireland's gonna beat Italy. So that's guaranteed for maybe five points. So they gonna end up with ten or eleven. So you need to end up with your ten or eleven. And next week you face them, you gotta beat them. And that was that that might solidify you as second place and give you potential to hit number one. It's a big game for England. They gotta win this. And you really they need that bonus point. 22. You can see the Wales try line there in the background. Randall again just pops the ball up. Taken in there by Charlie Yules, but it's Wales who get the penalty. Oh, they moving running. Look at this. Boy, walking ain't playing. On to Cuthbert. Naruatoji straight over the ball. Well, it was ambitious, Philippa, but it has rather backfired. Yeah, it was ambitious, and it was almost a bit of a carbon copy to the start of Wales Scotland. Scotland completely in control, loads of possession for the first 60 seconds. Wales got the turnover, counter attacked, and got the better of it. But unfortunately, on this occasion, just see there Cuthbert getting isolated. Early shot at goal for England, and this is key now because if Marcus Smith can get this over, you just listen to how much noise this crowd will make. Man, Marcus Smith got this in the bag, bro. That's too easy. Just the start that Marcus Smith would have been looking for. England three points up. We have been playing three minutes. Is Randall? That should be comfortable enough for Liam Williams. Williams for a moment. Just oh, what you doing? Perhaps trying to exploit the gap one side there at Jack Knoll, but uh, thought better of it. There's the carry forward from Ross Moriarty, and Wales are penalised again. And off goes Harry Randall. Yeah, he's slick. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Relax, bro. Quite suiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, relax, bro. Bring that back. Just making sure it's behind the penalty. Another frustrating penalty there for Wales. Hasn't gone the defence of the crown thus far quite as well as it might have done. And that gutsy win against Scotland a fortnight ago has kept that defence alive. Same angle. Good kick. Work. Easy work. Easy Good work. Stuff from Marcus Smith. Smith. But underneath it. Liam Williams back to Cuthbert. Oh, there you sorry. go, do some, do some, now he's do got some, options. he's got do some. Beard on one side, but look at Cuthbert. Whoa. Let's go. Now he's got options, he's got Beard on one side, but look at Cuthbert. Show some, Wales, the show some. Coming from I ain't pick y'all for no reason. But Wales again on the attack. Have England turned it though, they get the penalty. England are looking the slightly more composed. A bit of a miscommunication there in midfield from the England defence. Oh, was, dude, what slightly if... More composed. A bit of a miscommunication. If only the vision. Look at the... <laughs> if only he knew. If he knew, he would have... It would have been... He maybe would have got caught slipping like right here. But that's damn near to the house. If only he knew. He had to arm out everything, bro. Damn. there in midfield from the England defense to let Alex Cuthbert get through so easily. Yeah, I like that. Hit him with that truck stick, though. Make him feel that. One of the vice captains today after leading the side. In Ooh, Edinburgh, Marcus and Smith. Ooh. Marcus Smith, and there's the offload. And it's Ellis Genge. Oh, take off. to top it up. Did that come forward off a Welsh hand? Referee's unconcerned as Alex Dombrand takes it forward. Well, the penalty count mounting against Wales here. It really is, and the key issue is... That's three, bro. Three penalties. Frustrating stuff. Look at this little break. It's not even been 20 minutes. like a no-look pass there to Alex Genji in support. Audacious dummy Y'all averaging there. a penalty every five minutes, bro? Oh, that one slips by. So Let's go. Three today. Let's go. Wales. Come on, man. We need a try, Almost baby. We need a try, there. Wales. Another attempt to dent holes there from England, and here comes another one. Well, I think Wales just about held that up. Mike Adamson was scrambling to get in the right position. You better tackle as soon as he touched that ball. You better slam him. Very slam him. To their <laughs> and slam Thomas him. 
soon as he touched it. And the referee awards the scrummage to Wales. Well, there you Here can 15, see Williams. 15, clearly hit the arm. He's off his feet, yes. He clearly hit the arm. He clearly hit the arm. Well, this is going to be a penalty against Wales. And it's more than that. He's been sent to the bin. So Wales. I don't even know what happened right there. Because he's off sides or something? Well, this is going to be a penalty against Wales. What did he do, bro? He's Awards the scrummage to Wales. Well, there you Here can 15. see Williams. He's off his feet. Yes. He clearly hit the arm. He clearly hit the arm. Because he hit the ball. Well, this is going to be a penalty against Wales. Somebody get me in the comments, man. I got it. I don't know. So Wales down to 14 men. It's Basham. Being met by Curry and one of his mates, Courtney Laws as well. And between them, Laws and Curry. Yo, Courtney Laws is huge, bro. Bro is such a beast. Sure that it has been 10 minutes. Courtney Law is easily one of my favorite uh tacklers in rugby, bro. That boy can hit, dude. If you don't know, trust me, bro. There's people who said they watched rugby, they watched England, they watched other teams he was on, did not know how good of a tackler he was. Broken tackle. I got a whole video on him, Courtney, Courtney Laws taking names, bro. If you don't know about how his, his tackling ability, trust me, it is up there. Definitely one of my favorites. It's a profit if only by three points. That's better from the Harlequin. Three out of four. England lead by nine points to nil. Marcus Smith holding it down. Three for four. Relentless progress here by England. On to Itoji. The final seconds of the first half, but England do have the advantage. Marcus Smith, Dombra. Man, stop these Ross fools. Moriarty had to make that tackle, and he did. Moriarty's got to get himself out of there. The referee awards the penalty. Well, the try lines remain virgin territory after 40 minutes. But it is the 80% strike rate off the kicking tee that is the difference between the sides. Four penalties from that man, Marcus Smith. England into double figures. They lead Wales by 12 points to nil. It's not looking good for Wales, man. From not looking good. Yeah, it certainly has. Like you said there, in the first half, England played that slightly more pragmatic game. You know, they were kicking the territory and it got them in good. England is playing great. England is playing great. I'm not even going to say Wales is losing this. England is getting the dub, bro. They started getting the dub from the very first play off the rip. Off that, as soon as the kickoff happened, they was already looking to take over the ball, get the possession, and make points. So they've been winning this game this whole time so far. Um, I still give Wales a chance, though. I still have some hope and faith they're going to be able to do something. But what they need to do is get possession of the ball and keep that motherfucker. You know what I'm I can't even censor. Keep that motherfucker, bro. Get get the ball. Keep that shit. England had the, has had the ball the whole damn time. And they getting penalties on top of having the ball. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to gotta get the ball and then just keep it, bro. Have possession. Get your runners warm. Get them knees right. You know what I'm saying? Get the vision. Y'all stuck on defensive vision. You got to turn on, turn on your offensive vision. So you can start looking to make plays. Right now, you're just trying to keep them from scoring. You on full def de de defense mode. The defense vision. You're not even thinking. You can't even think about offense. Because you they just have the ball the whole time. Just saying, man. Positions to be able to apply pressure and force penalties, which... I think she just said it. You said there in the first half, England played that slightly more pragmatic game. You know, they were kicking the territory and it got them in good positions to be able to apply pressure and force penalties, which inevitably built that scoreboard lead. But it would have just felt tell, like we should have had a try from there. So it's good to see England throwing the ball around, just testing the edges. Oh, and it's gone straight to Don. Come on, bro. From there, so Look at this. 
Look who got look look at the jersey color. Good red, to see right. England throwing the ball. Look at he throws it. Look at where it go. Dude, look at everybody confused. What is going on? Around just testing the edges. Oh, and it's gone straight to Dombrand. Come on, bro. Up. And England have got the first try of the match. I'm not I'm sure what the is going on. What is going on? Uh, so Adam Beard just feels like he might have been impeded there, not able to jump up. Against his old jersey. And Marcus Smith just pushes that one across the face, 17 but it's a 17 zero. point lead. Elias, oh, and again, it was partially disrupted, but they get a second bite to the men. Can y'all get the ball? Can you hold on to it? Hold on Here to the Thomas ball. Williams, no penalties, just keep it. Toji. Just keep the ball. That little arm wrestle. Pass it, keep it. Hold it. Pass it. Slow ass ruck. Here's Rollins. Look at this slow ass ruck, man. They got me mad now. There we go. Hurry One, up. Two, oh, and Come on. There we go. Speed it up. Williams, low pass. Oh, that's quite superb. And Josh Adams. Well, it's been Thank a you. Almost a year Hurry since up with that ruck, bro. Speed but that shit up. Timely might that be. But look at this for a beautiful. Man, we need Louis Rezamit back, bro. <laughs> I don't know what. He not on the bench. He not in the starting lineup. We need him back, bro. Louis Rezamit, bro. Where is he at? He injured. Full pass hey, there looking Thomas Williams. Looking slow as hell. Plenty of zip on it. Cut out three defenders. Good pass. I mean, that is pinpoint accuracy. Good pass. Well, they've had their opportunities. The sixth time that Wales have had possession inside the England 22. That was the first time they had possession oh, even over there. That one a little bit. <laughs> Moriarty that time. The score. Williams. The I don't even care about games. the kick. Get five. Get Benito five. says, give it to me. He goes himself. What was that? What was that? Met by the England defense. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move faster. There's Leon Brown. Well, the post in touching distance for Wales. A chance to pause, regroup, take a deep breath. It also gives a chance for the defence to reorganise itself. Elias, I ain't like that. what a view that is out there for Williams. Thank you. Do something. Get a, get a try. Bro, y'all better do something, bro. Really Get your one point. Make it 11. Get this point. Make it 11. Do whatever the hell you've been doing. Because they've been stuck at 17 and you getting buckets. Come on. Let's get these buckets, bro. 17. Get your 11. Come back. Get your 6. Come back. Get you 3. Stop them. Get you another 3. It's over. Don't even worry about the 5. Just lock in the 4. Lock in the 4. Backs, Feel me? Demanding for that ball out wide. Come on, Wells. They got caught in the first half with one too many carries. A crucial kick. Thank you. Slots it. We have a five-point ball game. <laughs> Get this money. Get this money. And we also have. Get this motherfucking money. Rugby history. A very Get this motherfucking money! The, the, the first player to wear the white jersey and red rose in a test match, 115 times. Well, he equaled the record of the great Jason Leonard in Rome. Now he's out there on his own. England's most capped international. Oh, and then it's put down by Sinclair. Rollins. Couple of knock-ons. Referee still playing an advantage. Here's Adams. And what is y'all doing, Thomas bro? Thomas Williams. The long pass out. Cuthbert. Cuthbert there you go. Skirt, skirt. Come on. And Wales are penalised, and you have to say the tackle from Ben. He didn't release the ball. Is what set off that chain of events. 
Oh, bro, all you had to do was let go. You had your boy right there. To stop a bit of bleeding on the White England jersey. Oh. He's done it. George finds his There you go. Player. There you go. Don't lose it. Do not lose it. Do not lose it. But it's a penalty. There was a Welsh hand on an England arm. It's straight through the middle. That's literally all Wells had to do. That's all y'all had to do. Get your two little field goal. Get your two kicks, bro. Get your six point run, and then you just gotta hold it down. But that's what England is. That's what England's doing. Wow, England's doing it. And come on, bro. Turn him around. Turn him around. Nice slip by. Being met by Simmons. Inside here. Talubi Falatau steps in to be the impromptu scrum half. On from Bear to Tompkins. Tompkins tackled by Smith. On from Hardy. Here's Bigger. Well, it's a penalty advantage being played here to Wales. And have conceded a few penalties in that uh, so called red zone, if you like. How you got two tries Bruno and they got one and right you down 11? This is a chance. And the scrum half gets over. He has the try. Wales will return over the seven bridge with something. I mean, cool. 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 Big moment there for Kieran Hardy. And they badly needed this. Just caught an England defender turning his back there, switching off for a split second. Look as they're retreating. Really good awareness there. Well, Mike Anderson, Adamson says we have time for the restart. So there is. Four points, bro. Just, Just, get, a Just get a try. Just get a try. Just get a try. Just get a try. It's over. It's over. Toji's turning it over. And that could be the single moment. It's through. That wins the match for England. The final twist. And appropriately, wow! It is the new record holder Ben Youngs who fires it into touch. Shout and out to Ben that Young, man! Is what it means. Most capped English player, man. England versus Wales extended highlights 2022 Six Nations, man. You know what? Wales ended up, you know, bouncing back, and I, I appreciate that. They kept trying, they kept working, they kept working, it just wasn't falling their way. They tried, man, but they took that L, which means England got the dub, all right? So, with that being said, if England just got the dub, that gives them four points. They don't got the extra bonus points, so that gives them ten. And I don't think Wales gets a bonus point for that, right? I'm, I'm going to check later, but I don't think they get a bonus point for that, so I think they stay at four. Let me see, how many points was it? It's four points. I think they might get the bonus point. So I'm, I'm going to say they get the bonus point. I think they do. I think it's within six points. So that means England got 10. France got 14. England got 10. Scotland got five. Wales got five. I got Ireland with six points and Italy with zero points. But that game is coming up next. All right. Cool. Damn, man. Anyways, all right, man, I got Ireland and uh, Italy coming up next, so make sure you go check out that video if you're watching this one. Or you can go back and go look at the Scotland versus France one, and that's it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe button. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Keep it real, real, real. Always reaches everyone next time. Peace.